Good evening and thank you for joining me for my first video tutorial. Tonight we will be going over the Bushmaster AR-15 M4 type rifle. To go ahead and get started, first of all we always want to make sure that the weapon is unloaded. You can do this by pulling back on the charging handle and checking in your chamber. It should be empty. After you've checked your chamber, you can just go over the basics of the, the weapon. Here is your upper receiver and your lower receiver down here. Your magazine release um, on the, and your uh, forward assist is, is right here. Um, here is your bolt carrier, but we'll get more into that. Um, the dust cover here, rear sight aperture, carry handle, hand guard, front sight, and muzzle. Of course, back here is the stock. This is a six position collapsible stock. Inside the stock is the buffer, the buffer spring, inside the buffer tube, which is up here, which helps with recoil. Now, before you take the weapon down, you want to make sure that the bolt is completely forward. But you can do so by checking over here. Um, if the bolt is not forward, you can actually hit this bolt release button right here. That will make the bolt slide forward. You also have here the fire selector switch. This switches it from fire to safe. So to take it down, of course, you want to make sure that the bolt is in the forward position. After that, you want to go ahead and just push on these pins right here. You've got a pin here above the fire selector, and you have another pin up here right near the mag well. And go ahead and just push on these pins. Now you can either use a, a, just your fingers or a punch or even a cleaning rod to push them if you have trouble pushing them. I have fingernails, so it helps me to just go ahead and on the other side, you can see that they've kind of been stuck out just a little bit. I can just go ahead and pull on the pins. And then your upper will be completely removed from your lower. You can see on the lower here, you've got your buffer. Behind here is your buffer spring inside your buffer tube. Uh, you've got the trigger assembly and the magazine well. But we won't really worry about that. We'll go ahead and put that aside. Then in your upper here, you can see the charging handle here and the forward assist and the bolt carrier, your blast, brass deflector. To remove the bolt carrier group from the upper, you just want to go ahead and pull on the charging handle. Just bring it out just a, a small just small ways. You can go ahead and grab the bolt carrier group then and just completely remove it. And here's your bolt carrier group right here. Go ahead and put that aside. Just pick up the uh, charging handle by slipping it out. You've got your upper receiver. You go ahead and put that aside as well. Now all the fun happens in this nice little thing right here. This is your bolt carrier group. You can see the serrations on this side right here. That is for the forward assist. Now on the other side, you can see here that it is smooth. You can see this little groove right here. Uh, that is the firing pin retaining pin. Now before you can do anything else, you want to take that pin out. You can do it with a needle nose pliers or with a small punch. You just want to go ahead and get in there with your, with your needle nose pliers or your punch. And you just want to kind of pop up that pin. You can either remove it by your fingers or whatever. It just slides right out. And there's your firing pin retaining pin. Now that your firing pin retaining pin is out, you can go ahead and remove the firing pin. So to do that, you can just turn your, your bolt upside down. And for a new gun, you might have to shake it uh, once or twice, but sometimes your firing pin will just slide right out. So here's your firing pin right here. Pretty simple. Now after your firing pin is out, you want to go ahead and take out your cam pin. So your cam pin is this little pin right here underneath of the carrier key. To take out the cam pin, you want to go ahead and move the bolt. This here is the bolt right here. You want to move that to a rearward position by kind of turning and pushing it. You can see that the cam pin then rotates into a little notch. Now you want to rotate the cam pin a quarter of the way sideways. So you just want to go ahead and grab that cam pin. And go ahead and turn it so that it can slip past the carrier key. And you just want to pull out that cam pin. It should just come right out. And there is your cam pin. It is held in place by the firing pin. So the firing pin must come out before the cam pin can. You can see where the firing pin goes right through the center of the cam pin. And now you can remove the bolt. 
just by simply pulling it out. And here is your bolt. And that's pretty much as far as you need to take it down. You can go ahead and clean your weapon, you can clean your, your chamber and clean out your carrier group, your bolt, your cam pin, all that stuff. Here's your, your carrier that group. Now to put them back together is pretty much just as simple. You take your bolt. Now um, your bolt goes right back in your bolt carrier group. And the good thing about this assembly is that your cam pin will only go in one direction. So if you line up the bolt in the wrong position, your cam pin should not go in. You shouldn't have to force your cam pin in. It should kind of just slide in. You may have to force it just a little bit. But a good way to know that you put your bolt in the right way, because there's two, you know, the, the hole for the cam pin goes all the way through. So there is a possibility that you can try and put your cam pin in on the wrong side of the bolt. One way to figure out that your bolt is in the right position is that if you're looking straight on the bolt, the ejector, or I'm sorry, the extractor, or ejector, should be on the right side of the carrier key. Or if you're looking straight on it, it should be the left side. So for my position, looking down this direction, it's on the right side. But if I were to turn around and look directly at it, it's on the left side. So for you, it's on the left side. You can see it right there. So that means it's in the correct position. That means you can go ahead and take your cam pin, line up that hole, and slip your cam pin right in there. So now you can see your cam pin. You want to go ahead and turn that again. So that it looks like that. And you want to go ahead and take your firing pin and just slip it right in the back here and straight forward. Go ahead and slip that right in. And then you should just be able to take your firing pin, retaining pin. Now, it's recommended that you go ahead and move the bolt forward to put this in and then make sure that your firing pin is, is as far forward as, as possible. Now, remember that you're putting in the retaining pin on the smooth side, the large hole there. So just want to go ahead and take your pin and put it right in that hole. And it should just slip right in. There you go. Now you just want to do a, a real quick functionality test, kind of move your bolt back and forth. You can do kind of a, a snap test by pushing it forward and flicking it and your bolt should, should fly out. You should be able to shake it and your firing pin should not fall out. Now, when you put your bolt carrier group back in to your upper, you want to make sure that your bolt is in the forward position and that your cam pin is directly underneath of your bolt carrier key because if it's in this back position like this the carrier pin will actually get hung up on the side of the upper so you want to go ahead and just pull that bolt forward make sure that's in the forward position go ahead and get your upper now your charging handle has these little bumps on the sides of it so you can't just slip it directly in it will it will be stopped you can see that there and go ahead and start on the bottom and just kind of push up and it will snap up. And you want to go ahead and wiggle it a little bit forward so that way it'll stay there. Go ahead and take your bolt carrier group while it's still in the forward position and put that carrier key right up in that channel of the charging handle. Just go ahead and slip that forward, push it all the way forward and make sure that everything is properly seated forward. Your, your charging handle should be snapped forward. Go ahead and get your lower receiver and put them together. Like so, make sure they're nice and tight together. And then all you have to do is just push those pins back in. And make sure they're all the way in. Go ahead and Rack your bolt, it should cycle properly. And then also, you want to go ahead and do a dry fire. Make sure that it dry fires. And you're good to go.